So Adventure Plus uh, is an adventure youth work charity and we work with about 6,000 children and young people a year. Uh, but we found it very hard to increase the number of young people we can work with uh, on our existing model of operating out of a depot. And so about five years ago, our directors decided we needed to find a property on which to develop our own adventure centre. And about four years ago, we began fundraising to purchase this beautiful farm to offer adventure activities to young people here in Oxfordshire. So the really exciting news is that we've now managed to buy this farm in Oxfordshire. That's been a, a real challenge for us to really dig deep. It's cost £1.3 million. There is a conference centre that's included in that, which is already on site, which is hugely exciting. So the reason for purchasing this farm is to build this brand new adventure centre. And there are three main areas that we need to focus on developing first. We want to put a lake on site, an adventure lake, um, so that kids can enjoy canoeing, kayaking. So we need to create a four acre lake uh, and that's quite a major project. That would involve taking out 40,000 tonnes of spoil from the land, which we then will use for landscaping our 40 acres that we've got here. But before we develop that quite major engineering task, the plan is to put a yurt village on site so we've got accommodation for 40 children so that we can open our doors and welcome possibly up to 3,000 children and young people to the site in that first year. So having put the yurt village on and finalised the site layout for the project, uh, the plan will then be to put on all the amazing adventure activities that we can site on our 50 acres. So we would want to develop an urban adventure zone including parkour, BMX, skating and scooting because we're really excited about working with young people from the city. Uh, we would also have high profile activities such as a zip wire and a high ropes course and climbing walls. Uh, and then as we move further away from the buildings, we would get more rural. We'll look at conservation and field studies because we're thinking about outdoor education, not just adventure activities. And then in these wonderful woods behind me, we're really excited about putting in two or three bushcraft zones outdoor classrooms where kids can come and build their shelters and actually stay out overnight. Obviously for groups coming from a little bit further away we want accommodation on site. I'm very keen that it's really affordable. We want kids to be able to come and stay for 10 or 12 pounds a night so it'll be dormitory style accommodation which we hear from the young people is actually loads of fun because that's when a lot of the good banter and conversation happens. We're very aware that in the pressures of 21st century society so many young people need support, encouragement, a place to get out and away from the pressures and perhaps reassess and make positive choices. Uh, we're delighted that Bear Grylls is one of our patrons at the moment. And I do like his phrase that Adventure Plus is one of the most exciting charities out there for encouraging young people to get out, grab life and live boldly. Uh, and that's what we're about. It's great as we get to know them over their teenage years to see them grow in self-confidence and self-esteem. But now we start the exciting phase of raising funds to put the facilities on that the kids will enjoy. Uh, we're a relatively small charity. We've done the hard work of buying the farm. We've got the expertise. We've got the qualifications. We just need your help in enabling us to build the facilities that the kids will love. Three, two, okay. one, go!